Everyone lets everyone down at some point. How you come back from that, that's romance. James, how you doing? Very good, thank you. How are you, Fernando? Good, excellent, excellent. Hey, so my first question is, how come the house that we grew up in is so sentimental no matter what happened? How come it's such a, it's such a thing, like you're, you go back and drive by your house, like, like, like why is it so meaningful? I, it, 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 it's where all the memories are. It's, you know, it's where we felt the safest and the least safe, probably. Uh, and you know, I, 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 obviously it's a bit of a, a bit of a metaphor that the house is run down and we, you know, they do it up over the course of the film. It's that's something that's been done many times, but, um, truthfully, it was an excuse just for me to get us over to Tuscany so that we could, you know, have this kind of gentle, lightly comedic walk into a more emotional place. You know, I wanted the audience to feel safe and secure and like they're enjoying themselves because I felt that if we did that, then when we hit the, the sort of deeper stuff in the film, that the audience would engage with it more fully, I, I, I hoped. So, you know, that's, that's, I guess, why we're there. Right, right. How was it, um, first of all, directing this, this is like your first big film, correct? Directing? It is my, it's my first feature film, yeah. First feature film, and I mean, uh, and not to mention it's in Italy, so what did you uh, have to go through to pull this off? Um, look, it's, it, the, the world of independent filmmaking is very tricky. And uh, I, I was extremely lucky that Liam read it. I didn't know Liam, uh, so it was just a pretty blind submission, to be honest. And the fact that he read it and responded so well, and then, you know, he, he, when we met, he said, look, I really do want to do the film uh, under any circumstances, but would you consider meeting my actual son, Michael? to play my son. I think we could bring an extra dimension to those characters that just isn't on the page. And, you know, I was very happy to meet Michael and then I was even happier to discover that he's very talented, incredibly handsome, very charming. And, you know, uh, I don't mean to be ghoulish about it, but, you know, he, he, some of his real life experience is paralleled so closely in the script. And now, you know, I wasn't trying to do niece and family therapy and nor were either of them, but he bought a lot of the components that I was looking for in Jack for free. And that was really great. Yeah, there's some real, real life components that happened to them that's brought onto the big screen here. Yeah. Right. So when he proposed that, I mean, how many seconds did it? take you to say yes, <laughs> to say... You know, the, the, actually, no, he was very gentle about it. And, uh, you know, if it hadn't have been Michael, it would have perhaps worked out another way. But when I, you know, he asked me to meet Michael and he asked me to audition him. He wanted it to be, you know, a, a proper situation. But my biggest concern, because I knew Michael could do it pretty quickly. My biggest concern was that I didn't want to re-traumatize Michael in the process of making the film. So I just had to be sure that we could, you know, be boundaried about what we were doing. And, you know, God bless Michael, he, 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 he was up for it and he really threw himself into it. And I don't know if you've spoken to him, but, you know, he plays an Englishman in the film and his English accent is flawless. In real life, he has a strong American accent. And I would say that his accent work is as good as anyone I have ever met. I mean, you know, that's just a starting place, never mind doing the actual acting. So, you know, I, I, I'm really thrilled that he's, that he's there in the film with his dad. Right, right. They were both awesome. And what about uh, Valeria? I, I, you know what? I just knew about Valeria. I, I, she was actually the first person I cast in the film. I, I, I had seen her in the Paul Potts film with James Corden, and I, it was something about her. She's beautiful, but she's real. And she's funny, but there's s some sadness somehow in her eyes. And, you know, she was just, I just knew I, she was perfect. I didn't need to meet anybody else to play that role. Right, right. So, uh, because, well, she's real Sicilian, right? She's a Sicilian, Italian, authentic. I mean, you can't get better than her. 
no, she was she was terrific. She was really terrific. Actually, all my Italian cast were, you know, we didn't have many, there are not many speaking roles in this film, but but I was so lucky with everybody who was in the film. They they really, you know, they trusted me. I don't really speak Italian, and there are some scenes that are in Italian, and they trusted me that I was still able to discern when we had good takes. Right. So, you know, it's great. So Liam is usually like an enforcer, and he's such a badass in all these films, right? So how was it as a director telling him, hey, like you almost got to, I mean, was it, did you have to tell him to tone, tone down his, his persona? Because I mean, as a, as a viewer, as an as a audience member, you kind of, I'm, I'm ready for him to pull out the gun and made in Italy every, or do something every time, kind of. Look, I think, I think Liam, Liam, Liam did take in 10 years ago and then it led on to a sort of spate of particular, a particular kind of film. But he's, you know, he's a really wonderful actor. I mean, of, of 40 years standing. And he, like me, saw the opportunity to put a little bit of hope into the world. And, I, I, you know, I have to say, we didn't make the movie knowing what was gonna happen in 2020, but I feel like we could all really use a, a bit of hope and a bit of joy and, and, and some kind of connection. I think that's what Liam tapped into was the idea of connection, connection with his real life son through this story. I think there probably was a little catharsis for him in all of it. So it, I, you know, it wasn't difficult. I, you know, I'm an actor. I've played all sorts of roles, and so it, we never had any conversation about that. I'm very pleased to have made a film where no Albanians were killed, uh, and you know, Liam had no gun. I'm quite pleased to have done that, and it was lovely to see him smile that's that's so true it's such a role and it's so uh it's like such beautifully done with a beautiful location and a beautiful house and it was just such a great it was a great film it's really great thank you very much fernando i really appreciate that yeah yeah coming out like that first uh good job i mean <laughs> <laughs> thank so, you What's the number one and two thing that you learned now? Like now that you, I'm sure you're going to direct another film. What will you do or won't you do on your next film? I think the next film I might have a chair to sit on. Ooh. It's got a bit tiring standing up all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. You're too young to be sitting down being a director. And but I know I'm getting all these text messages saying we have to, uh, we have to wrap up. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Hey, honor speaking with you and uh, I'm gonna tell all my friends about your film, it was really awesome. Oh, thank you, I really appreciate it. Everyone lets everyone down at some point. How you come back from that, that's romance.